I hope we are live. So I think um, it's a place to mirror this. All right, so I'm going to be talking today about three Facebook ad mistakes, that three deadly mistakes you can actually avoid if you're using Facebook ads to sell your product or sell your services. You see, Facebook is actually the king of social media. We all know that already, but if you don't use it correctly you're going to end up wasting a whole lot of money i believe you can hear me i'm kevin Ingbenege and i'm the creator of the facebook class and over the months i've been able to uh, train a lot of people on facebook ads and facebook marketing including instagram marketing and it's been amazing i don't know why some parts are dark look like my lighting is not so good all right so well, uh, so I want to talk to you about three mistakes you can actually avoid if you're using Facebook ads because you definitely will waste a whole lot of money if you keep running your ads the way you, you've been running it and not getting enough sales or enough leads or enough of the results you want to actually get from your advert. All right, so I think we can move on from here because you see, sometimes ago when I started using Facebook ads many years ago. I burnt a whole lot of money. I wasted a whole lot of money. Like seriously, at the point I was on holding Facebook, I created an underhand account, hold Facebook. I, I was just wasting money and holding Facebook and all of that. But as the time passes by, I learned it the hard way. But I don't want you to make these same mistakes. So I'm sharing just three with you. There are a lot of them, but these three are very important. So can we roll? Can we roll? All right. So mistake number one is this not targeting the right audience not knowing the right audience to target now if you're selling products and you're selling the services or um, or you're selling services if you don't target properly you will waste money that's just the truth and if you can hear me if you're live i want you to just um drop a comment give me the like button let me know someone is watching drop a comment below tag a friend tag someone all right so mistake number one is targeting wrongly if you make a mistake with your targeting you are going to burn a whole lot of money now this is like what i mean is that showing your products for anti let's say you're selling an um, anti-aging cream and you're showing it to a young lady in, in uni lag or in university still in school like you're showing a 20 year old girl your anti-aging cream or your anti-aging product whatever it is is she going to buy i don't think so so that's like a waste of money but that's what most people do it's funny but that's what most people do because they just go on facebook set up ad boost you know they just click on the boost button facebook, facebook makes it very easy for you to just click on the boost button because they want to eat your money and if you don't know anything about targeting you're going to waste a whole lot of money so what you need to do is to actually do a due research do a very thorough research on your audience on people that are most likely to buy your product or if you already have buyers you already should have the kind of people or you you should already know the, the kind of people that will buy your product so those are the kind of people you target with your advert it's 6 14 p.m yeah gmt plus one we are live and if you're watching this video after now this is a, it, it's going to be a rebroadcast i'm going to put it on my youtube channel and put it, put it on instagram also so if you're here and you want to actually make me walk you through targeting into deep targeting how to target correctly you can actually sign up for my private coaching program marketingfiesta.com slash private it's a private link just for viewers of this video you can actually sign up there at a very discounted rate so all right so that's mistake number one targeting wrongly so do your due research who are the people that are most likely to buy my product what magazines are they reading what celebrities are they following what books are they reading what um tv stations are they uh, watching what school are they how much are they earning how many kids do they have are they married or not are they single or divorced you know you just have to know a whole lot about them because facebook gives you the ability or the option to target them precisely are they using are they on mobile phones are they on desktop are they using iphone are they using android phone are they using samsung or you know you can target 
targeting on Facebook is so broad that you can even get confused and end up wasting a whole lot of money. So I don't want to do that. So I want to jump quickly to mistake number two. Are you ready? Guess what? Mistake number two is using a very poor image or poor video for your advert. Now, let me make this clear. Facebook is billions of active users every day. Now, if they scroll through their news feed and news feed gets even you know more busier by the day because a lot of people are coming on Facebook, a lot of business want to show you hard and all. So people get to scroll through their Facebook news feed just like let me just see what's happening. If your image is not catchy or if your video is not catchy enough, they are not going to stop to watch you or stop to even read your advert so before i talk about the copy that's the right up on, on your advert the image is very important because that's the first thing that will capture their attention that's the first thing that will capture their attention if you have any question you can actually drop it in the comment section if you're watching drop it in the comment section below i'm going to answer your question after the uh, after i'm done or when i'm done all right so your image is very important don't just do and one thing about image is that you don't have to be too you don't, you don't have to be professional in my private coaching program I actually walk you through how to come up with catchy images based on my own experience the kind of images I use I have a template I already used I can I will give it to you so you can actually use for yourself just go to marketingfiesta.com slash private marketing fiesta fiesta is f i e s t a dot com slash private you're gonna have all the full details there all right so do not make your image one very good tip is this if you are doing on facebook don't i try to avoid the blue color when i'm creating an image for my advert because facebook is blue so i don't want to blend too much or any color that will just blend too much with facebook colors i don't want so most times i go with yellow i go with red i go with pink i go with some off colors and when i do i can combine both red and pink or both red but something that is hard something that we actually when you scroll through facebook you 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 want to stop and check what was that was that you know your eyes will definitely tell your brain to or your brain will tell your eyes whatever to stop and check out that post and then you get to read my headline and see my advert and if you're interested you get you click and then, and you become a customer or something you know so work on your if you're using a video ensure that the first three minutes the first three seconds to three to five seconds is catchy enough and we want to make them stay all right so if you're live if you're watching me give me a thumbs up like hit the heart button or hit the like button i will appreciate that or you can drop a comment with your question all right so i want to jump to the last tip i'm trying to make this very short so i don't get people who are too busy all right so um i can see you sebastian Oyen Yechi. all right so you're watching live all right so the third mistake and the final mistake i'm talking about today when running facebook ads or instagram ads is this killing your adverts before time i call it abortion aborting your ads it's illegal it's not good okay let me say it's not good to do that because I see a lot of newbie I see a lot of people not just newbie actually people who have been running Facebook ads for a while they just feel once your heart start running you start getting results immediately the desired result immediately it's not all it, it doesn't happen all the time and that yeah sometimes it ha sometimes it can be that way really you can set up an advert right now and start making sales right away but other times it's not always um that's not always the case you know because facebook gets to learn about your audience learn about the people you are targeting they have what they call a learning phase and that that phase usually lasts for about 24 hours so if you like i saw some someone checking up an advert she said one advert in front of mine and she kept checking it like every as it got approved, the next five minutes, ah, my click rate, my click through rate is twenty naira per click, or uh, I think forty cent per click, and she was like, ah, no, but I was getting one cent per click, two cent per click for this same ad some other time. I said, just calm down. 
that's not the issue because you're just starting the ad. The advert is just trying to pick up. Facebook is trying to learn about your audience and how to serve your ads better at a cheaper rate, you know. So don't kill your advert before time. Let it run for 24, even if possible, to 48 hours, depending on the budget. Now, depending on the budget, if you have a big budget, you can leave it to run for 24 hours. Sometimes I test adverts with little amount of money, five dollars per day. You want to see how is it going to run? What's what's the result going to be like? Now you might get good result, like superb result, and some other times you get very awful result, and you just have to just stop the advert, which is understandable. But don't just set up an advert today or right now and expect to expect it to be at the uh, at the peak or very optimized after one hour no 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 it's not gonna work that way <laughs> it cannot work that way you know so watch out for this three daily mistake i'm gonna run through all over again if you want to actually learn facebook ads you want to hold you by the hand you want to, you want to have a private coach someone who can actually walk you through from the scratch of selecting products to um setting up adverts and profitable adverts you can actually check up my offer right now on my website marketingfiesta.com slash private I'm actually giving every one of you the chance to actually come in and join us. I have five slots for this month and I want five of you to actually join because it's a private link. Marketingfiesta.com slash private. Go there, see the details about my private coaching program. A whole lot of, I'm going to walk you through this process step by step, step by step. I'm going to give you as a bonus. Um, my Facebook Profit Masterclass course and my Sales Funnel Masterclass course. I'm gonna give, give it to you as a bonus also. So you don't want to miss that. Check it out and if you can help me, type in the comment marketingfiesta.com slash private. All right, so let's run through this stuff again. Does anyone have a question? If you have a question, you can actually drop it. But if you don't have a question, I'll just say these three mistakes do not play with them. Do not target the wrong audience. Ensure your targeting is correct. Do not use um, images or videos that are not catchy enough. You don't have to be a professional um, graphic designer to be able to do a good image um, for, for your Facebook ad. It can be just one image you get from this. There are free sites that actually give you that you can actually use some stock photos from pixelbay.com, pixel.com, pexel.com, -E you know, pixelbay, pixabay, something like that.com. You know, these sites actually give you free stock photos. And even on Facebook ads itself, you can actually have stock photos, um, pictures for free, you know. So, and the third mistake to avoid is um, what again? All right, do not kill your advert so early before it produces good results so that's it as like premature that's like uh, what they call miscarriage you know you you're having a miscarriage on your advert all right so let your advert run for a while and give it some time to prove itself whether it's actually a good whether it will be a winner or not all right so thank you for joining me and remember if you want to learn the process of uh, setting up Facebook ads from scratch and want someone to hold you by the hand one on one go over to marketingfiesta.com slash private and I'm going to give you a special offer not for everybody not you, you, you have to go through a screening process before I can actually take you in all right so so that's it M avoid these mistakes see it will help you save a whole lot of money and it will help you crush it with Facebook ads over and over again all right, thank you for joining me. I think I'll see you in my next live video. I want to um, stay glue and go to marketingfacer.com if you want to get notified each time I go live. I'll be sending out emails to you um, to, to notify you. Or you can actually click on the notification button here on Facebook and say, notify me whenever this deal goes live. I'm Kelvin Ibinige and I'm the creator of Facebook Profit Masterclass, experts in uh, setting up Facebook ads and running Facebook campaigns. And I've actually trained a lot of students and I want to help you also stay stay tuned tomorrow I'm gonna to be live again on Facebook here and I'm gonna talk about something important when it, as regards Facebook ads all right so I'll see you thank you bye peace